I was somewhat fascinated with explosives, and that's what led me to uh, joining the bomb squad. You read about devices going off in Ireland. You were always curious as to what kind of a device it was, you know, how it was set up, how it was meant to go. There used to be a joke between bomb techs. When you cut a wire, you can hear it. But if you cut the wrong wire, you're never going to hear it. In the early 1970s, Belfast was rapidly becoming one of the most bombed cities in the world. It was a dangerous place to grow up. Among the dead are Protestants and Catholics. Some are children. This is not just a British problem. This is an international problem. It was amazing the amount of young kids, you know, that were getting hurt, that were getting hit by plastic bullets. Life is about survival. Nobody ever got used to the violence that engulfed the community. There was a great need to take the kids out of Northern Ireland. That set the scene for parents willing to trust us to take them to America. We had come to another world. We'd left all of that behind. That house was like grey. This place was in colour. I felt safe being here. Greenwood Lake, a world away from a place called Belfast, Northern Ireland. When these kids came over here, that was our family. We started a family. It was just a completely different experience. It definitely had, it changed me. Project Children smoothed the way for the peace process in Northern Ireland before there was a peace process in Northern Ireland. Dennis has been involved in the work of reconciliation for a very, very, very long time, long before any of us. We will stand with you as you take risks for peace. He knew then that he'd not only save some individual lives and create some different futures, but it might move the country.